So one of our very popular courses is the Applied AI course. Uh, the course is an online course with about 140 plus hours of video content. And most of this video content is adaptive, by which we mean that suppose if, if, if there is a video and for every video we have a comment section below that, if a lot of students are getting stuck understanding a small minute concept in the video, we redo the video and we try to explain it much more clearly. Probably if it requires more time, we'll explain it in more detail. So most of our video content is adaptive based on the feedback that customers provide us. If most customers understand it, that's great. We'll not edit the video. But if, 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 a, if, a, if a sizable chunk of customers watching a video do not understand a specific concept in the video, we prefer to redo it because our whole objective is to simplify and make AI accessible to everyone. So as part of our 140 plus hours of video content, we explain everything from basics. So we assume that you, you've forgotten or you don't know what is conditional probability or you've seen the bell curve, the Gaussian distribution, but you don't know what it is. Or you, you remember reading it in your undergrad first year or second year, but mostly you've forgotten all of it. So if, if, if you're like that, so if you've forgotten all the fundamentals, we go from the basics of basics in mathematics, uh, basic probability, basic statistics, linear algebra, optimization, etc. We explain everything very, very intuitively. And from, from basic algebra, from basic mathematical concepts, we go up to deep learning and including a bunch of topics in deep learning. And hit, since our content is so wide, our video content is again 140 plus hours. I think to the best of our knowledge, this is the largest video content for AI going from very, very basics up to state of the art. And during the course of whenever you learn a technique or an algorithm, you also look at a bunch of toy examples because that, that helps you understand the concepts much more intuitively. Along with a toy example, you also learn a real world example. But at the end of the course, once you've learned all the algorithms, all the techniques, we go through 10 case studies, 10 real world case studies. These are actually problems and data sets from real world companies like Facebook, uh, Facebook, Quora, Uber, etc. For example, at Facebook, we take the friend graph, which basically says which two people are connected um, as friends on Facebook. We actually, uh, thankfully, some of these companies have, op uh, have made their data sets publicly available. So we use actual data sets at Facebook, Quora, Uber, Amazon, Netflix, etc to build real world solutions. So these are not hypothetical data sets. These are real world actual data sets. Of course, not full data sets, not, not like full fledged data sets. And for, all, for each of these 10 real world case studies, we go from raw data, just how to process the data to building a first cut deployable model. We do not claim that we will get, we'll get to the best model. I think that's unfair to say. Building top notch cutting edge models takes years of learning, but we take, it, take, you, to a situ, take you to a stage where from raw data, you'll be able to build a first cut deployable model, which is expected of, a, of an entry level data scientist or a machine learning engineer. And in most of our concepts, we try to make a fine balance between theory and applied concepts. And of course, as you might already know that AI is a very, very math intensive subject. We do not, we attempt not to water down the content, but we want you to get the whole gist of the concept. And hence we use a lot of geometric tools to help you understand. I actually strongly recommend you to watch a bunch of uh, videos on our on our website and on our YouTube channel to understand how we teach a concept. So th so that so that so that you'll understand uh, all, all of the all of the geometric intuition that I'm talking about. It was fun doing those videos. I really thoroughly enjoyed it because simplifying a concept is a brilliant challenge that 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 I was working with. In addition to all of this, we also have a terrific customer service. We have five engineers who are working full time with us trying to resolve customer issues. For example, while watching a video, for example, you don't understand a concept or you don't understand a code snippet. You can just shoot an email to our team at team at Applied AI Codes and we will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Internally, we've set a 24 hour limit to answer every question that comes our way, but we'll do our best to reach out, to, to reach back to you with a, with a solution or with an answer within 24 hours, as soon as possible. And we'll try to do it within 24 hours. That, that's our strong, uh, that, that's a strong gut feel that we should be able to do most of the questions in 24 hours. Probably some of the more complex ones might take a little longer. So, and customer service is super important, right? Because if, if we didn't provide customer service to our customers, if they're stuck, what happens? Again, based on my experiences in other companies, I think customer obsession is super duper important when you're building any product or service. In addition to all of this, we also provide something called a portfolio, which is one of the most important things of our course. So at the end of all of the theoretical concepts and the 10 case studies, we give each of our course participants five data sets and five real world problems. And we expect them to solve these five problems uh, over a five to 10 week period. 
And once they solve all of these problems, we evaluate them, grade them, and we help them through, build, through the process of solving these problems. And at the end of it, a student who has taken our course can build a portfolio. Uh, you might think that portfolios are typically for artists, for photographers, models, artists, etc. But we hope that portfolios are extremely useful for data science and machine learning engineers. From my professional experience of interviewing candidates for, for top tier product based companies, I realize that when somebody, as an interviewer, when somebody sends me a resume with, with some code link or with some PDF file link saying, okay, this is the project that I've done at so and so point, that gives me a lot of interest on the candidate himself or herself because I can go read the read read how the candidate or the interviewee has solved the problem, and that I could use it as talking points and discussion points in my interview. So I, personally, we believe that in addition to just having a degree, showing your work, showcasing your work, showcasing your solution to real world problems is extremely important in getting a data science or a machine learning job. And equally importantly, there are no prerequisites for this course. I I I wanted to emphasize that. If you know some programming language like C, C++ or Java, that's great. And by the way, we do most of this course in Python. And the reason we do it in Python is because Python has terrific and a large number of uh, easily available libraries and modules to do data science, AI, and machine learning. And hence we do it in Python. For those of you who do not know Python, please don't worry. We have tens of hours of content explaining everything from basics of Python on what a variable is to classes and uh, some very standard modules and libraries that we use. So don't worry if you don't know Python, we will teach you Python. But if you have some familiarity with other programming languages, learning Python will be very quick for you. And I, I strongly recommend you check out some of our openly available videos on how we teach, our teaching methodology, uh, and so, so that you get, a, you get an idea of, uh, when I say we simplify content, I want you to get a feel of it. So I strongly recommend you go through it. And as I told you, it was fun building all the content. I strongly recommend you visit appliedaacourse.com to understand how we teach, to also see a bunch of, uh, we, have, we have tens of hours of free content available to everyone. So please go through that and it, only if you like it, please join the course. We, we, we always want our customers to win. It's not just about us winning, it's about we winning. It's about our customers and us, all of us winning together. It was fun building this course and uh, hope to see you in the course.